got to say anymore. Honestly. I don't know how many trials I got to go through and come out of. How many fucking demons that come against me. <laughs> how many fucking videos I got to make for y'all to like to to just fucking listen. Hey, y'all think I'm just playing games? Did I stage did I stage somebody possessing my boy and trying to take my life? And me calling on Yahweh as we hit the rail and he may and I'm protected in some kind of fucking womb. I can't even explain thing and I come out unharmed. Did I just make that shit up? Did I make the article myself? I just I just hopped up in the hospital and and took a picture. You know, niggas, man. I just I'm just playing games. I'm just I just made up the most high speaking to me through my mother the night before Tony's funeral. And calling me by my name and telling me, gather the lost sheep before it's too late. 12, 19, 16. I just made that shit up, you know. But y'all y'all will believe a pastor. Y'all will believe a pastor that tells you God spoke to him every single week. Every single week God spoke to him and gave him a sermon. And he'll 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 uh, he'll tell you one or two verses out the Bible out of context. Don't even you know. And preach for an hour or something on one verse on his interpretation or whatever to make you feel good instead of telling you what it is, what it says, what you need to hear to get better. But you know, I tell you, he talked, I tell you, the most high spoke to me one time in my life, one time. In my track record, you know, all, all the game I try to put y'all on. Everybody knows me. What what I gotta lie for? <laughs> what do I have? What do I have to gain by lying? Honestly, I could turn this damn phone off. I could I could not be doing this right now. I could be I could go right back to bed, bro. What what am I doing? Why am I doing this? I literally got a <laughs> a nigga a nigga that's in the demonic shit. Been stalking my Facebook and IG since July, August. Constantly messaging my shit, commenting on my shit on IG. Making threats. Claiming he casting spells on me. <laughs> but you know, I'm just I'm just making shit up. And <laughs> and this shit just, you know, or or this shit just just happens to happen to me only. For whatever reason, but you know, I don't understand y'all, man. Because the people that actually know me and say they love me and say they trust me and shit, y'all think that y'all would fucking listen to me. But no, that was he gonna take? Is it gonna take him coming down? I don't even want to say coming down. It's gonna take him like showing himself in front of you. Is that that's that's because when that happens, it's gonna be too late for that. <laughs> it's gonna be too late for that, and I can't. And I I doubt that he he will he will do what he did and speak to you like how he spoke to me. Because in my mind, the reason that happened to me is because I always, even when I was in the church, and not even knowing the Bible like I do now my heart was still seeking him and that's why he brought me out of that and he brought me to the truth for what it is. Maybe I'm, I, it's hard for me to think that a lot of, I mean, David was after his own heart, after the most high's own heart. It's very, it's, it's very, I can't really see too many people on this earth in these days, especially having the heart that I have and seeking the most high first above all things. 
So maybe I get I, I I basically guarantee that it won't happen to you like it happened to me. But that that, that doesn't give you a reason to not trust me and believe what I'm telling you. What do I have to gain from this shit? From y'all. I know I have to gain from the most high. Because he told me, he said in Ezekiel 3 and Ezekiel 33. So warn the wicked from their ways. If I don't, the blood's on my hands. And I'm not claiming I'm a perfect man. Of course, we have all, we've all sinned. Everybody has sinned. And I don't, I, st I stumble. Time, very rarely, I mean, when I was in the Christian church, yeah. That <laughs> shit would be. All the time. Like, every week I have to repent for the same shit. Now it's a, it's a very rare occurrence. But Proverbs uh, 24, 16, a righteous man, like I said, falls seven times, but he rises again. I continue to walk in the ways and I turn from the when I when I find my fault, I turn from it, and I try my best not to do it ever again. And I keep my eyes on the Most High above all things, and He sees that. But I just don't know what what do I have to do or say. It's it's real irritating, yo. It really is. Cause y'all will listen to a pastor. I, I could I could I could cut a pastor up with the word all day, yeah. <laughs> and give you multiple verses, multiple scriptures to 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 to, to show you that I know what I'm talking about. And my personal experiences that nobody no I don't know anybody else that has my experiences with the most high my spiritual experiences. I could literally make a movie out of my life. No, and dealing with the shit with my brother now. Demon trying to take my brother. Why does this shit keep happening to me? It has to be something going on with me, right? There has to be something about me that they don't like. That these demons don't like. That they keep coming at me and they can't fuck with me. They can't touch me. So they come out to my family now. There has to be something. What is it about me? Why did the demon tell me I know who you are? Speaking through Sabo the night before we took that, that trip. I know who you are. Let me look in your eyes. Oh, they said you'd have those eyes. What the fuck? What does that mean, yo? <laughs> does that mean anything to y'all? It's just, it's just coincidence that this all this shit happening to me, man. But y'all, for some reason, I, I put up video after video, post after post. I got to keep going through these trials and coming out, proving that he's with me. And y'all still don't want to listen. There's not even an ounce, ounce of you that wants to just seek him yourself and, and, experience, and witness what I witness and experience what I experience. It's, it's frustrating, yeah. It really is. But I was called to do it, so I can't stop. Like, but I, I can't lie. <laughs> There's times I feel like it's pointless. At the same time, if I just get one of y'all, if I just get one person. Just one person. I mean, I did my job, honestly. But I still feel like that won't be enough. I don't know, yo. It's like, what next? What What am I going to go through next? <laughs> it's, like, it's literally just on my life. What what next what next father? <laughs> what do I have to go through next? I'm just I'm expecting some crazy stuff. 
and I'm going to come out of it. Many of the afflictions of the, of the righteous. But the most high, I'll take them through it all. All of it. And y'all going to see another trial I come through. Some stuff that y'all never dream about going through. And y'all still aren't going to fucking listen. Well, you know, you'll go to church with the ones of you that do go to church. You know, listen to the pastor tell you God spoke to him and then proceed to take your money. <laughs> I ain't asking y'all for no money, man. I'm trying to help y'all make money now. What the fuck? Above all, I'm trying to help y'all get this kingdom. That's the main thing, man. Because at the end of the day, money, money ain't going to get you nothing. And you can't take it with you. This light's blinding me, though. I ran out of things to say. <laughs>